It is the biggest U.S. intelligence leak in decades. Dramatic video showing the FBI arresting 21-year-old National Guardsman Jack Teixeira. He is accused of stealing our nation's most sensitive secrets, including highly classified documents on the war in Ukraine and details about our allies and enemies. And it was all apparently to impress a bunch of his teenage friends in a video game chat room. The Washington Post interviewing one of the members who says Teixeira acted like a father figure to the group during COVID. It felt like I was on top of Mount Everest. It felt like I was above everyone else to some degree and that um, I, I, would, I would be able to brag to some people that I knew stuff that they didn't. He is not interested in helping any foreign agencies with their attack on the U.S. or other countries. He was a, he was a young, charismatic man who loved nature, God. And bottom line, if they want these to be private, it's because they have something to hide. So the Biden administration appears to have been caught flat-footed by this major leak. Teixeira was essentially an IT worker with the highest level of security clearance and access to military intel systems. He had been circulated information for months online, but the Pentagon only learning about it last week through the media. The DOD dodging how damaging this could be. How did this happen, and isn't this a massive security breach? Uh, again, we need to allow the investigation to run its course. We'll, of course, know more uh, when that is completed, so I'd, I'd refer you to, to DOJ on that. You put into context the damage that has been done by this leak? Again, right now, we're continuing to assess the scope and the impact, um, and, and so that's work that will be ongoing. President Biden downplaying the significance of the leak just hours before the arrest. I'm not concerned about the leak because and I'm concerned that it happened. But there's nothing contemporaneous that I'm aware of that is of great consequence. All right, let's talk about Jack. Jack Teixeira, 21 years old. Greg, now in FBI custody after this sh I mean, it is a major, I was going to say shenanigans. Um, <laughs> sorry. Were sorry. You? I was, no, I was going to say shenanigans after these no. shenanigans. But That's then, such a common word. But the thing is, is that shenanigans, <laughs> that downplays it too much. Because yeah. it is serious. But it's also like online gaming chat. Everything room about this is 2023. You know, a 21-year-old IT worker in a game chat room sharing secrets uh, I, by the way, and I'm not going to, I should never get a security clearance. I think it's pretty clear. I have a big mouth. Uh, I say everything. Don't ever confide in me on anything. I will tell everybody. I'm careless. This is why I don't want to, I, 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 somebody found my checkbook on the street yesterday <laughs> in front of my house, just sitting there. Th th only an idiot would do that. See, I, I, I'm, I, I'm an expert at carelessness. We have to have higher standards here. If a 21-year-old IT worker can get a security clearance, anybody can, including somebody unstable and dangerous like me. Now, but I, I, I do, I want to say, I used to get upset about intel leaks because it puts lives at risk, at risk, but I don't trust any information that we're getting anymore from our government or even from Ukraine or Russia. I mean, you know, what if a, in that leaking material was actual truth? Right. I mean, I, we seem to remember, you know, Obama saying that we were winning the Afghan war and that the Taliban were being destroyed. And that's the reason why we draw down the troops. And then, of course, we find out that's all BS. Uh, we were we were always we we're always being lied to about the tide of war. That's the thing that we will always be told that everything's going great. So we keep investing in it. You can't trust anybody. Sometimes that's a leak. That's what that kid was saying, basically. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I like the cut of that kid's jib. <laughs> was that God. you, Craig? Yeah, it was me. What do you think of the teenage online chat? I mean, I don't know how Tashera knew that the people that were in his little group chat thing were... How do you know that that's not a spy on the other end? Yeah, well, Dana, everybody knows you put your classified documents next to a Corvette. You don't put them on a chat group. <laughs> and the guy has to get a girlfriend. I mean, you're on right. a gaming chat room... Go outside. And he's from Massachusetts, so I think we can all <laughs> understand what's going on there. <laughs> yes. I don't trust anything about this story. I'm with Greg. This is more than the fog of war. I assume the government's lying to me. I assume the media's lying to me. So when they say this thing's all wrapped up and it's some gamer in Massachusetts that leaked this thing, I don't know. I don't even know if these leaks are real. I don't know if they're half real, that, half true, that's true, disinformation, if it's all good. I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm allowed to read 
The leaks. Does Fox News have a policy that we are we you sharing? Can read, I think you can read them. But if you actually if you this is kind of weird, if you have a classified security clearance, you are not allowed to read them. OK, even though they're on the front page of The New York Times. OK, so the other thing is mm -hmm. I read something that 5000 individuals have access to this material. That is way too many people. Wait, we, it's, it's millions. It's like 220,000, I think. <laughs> but maybe the, to the oh, specific material. I, oh. I, I read it was 5,000 people have access to this. Why, are, why is everybody in the government a contractor now? Every, it's, this is like the, the rise of the contractors. These defense contractors, they have all of the information. And the defense contractors are running all of our bases, all of our data systems, all of our weapons systems. It's not just the Pentagon. There's a few people in the Pentagon, right? But there's millions more contractors spread throughout the entire world. So this is just one guy. This could be happening all over the place. So I don't know what to make of it. Uh, it looks like we're spying on our friends and our enemies, and everyone's trying to stab each other in the back but and get and paid. Standard. And that's standard. And that's standard. And they know that we're spying on them. Right. They know we're sp they're trying to spy on us, et cetera, Jessica. But get your thoughts on this. Well, the but is now they can hold a press conference like the Chinese did and say, this is what's going on in America. Mm -hmm. And any time that you give them an upper hand, even though we all know that it's a bunch of BS and the way that they do things is not as good as the way that we do things, it ends up not looking great for us. Um, the president said, I'm not concerned about the leaks. I think there should be a little bit of a ban on that term. We had that also <laughs> with the Chinese spy balloon. Not concerned about it. They didn't get anything out of it. Just say, we don't know at this point. We are hopeful that this was all outdated information. It seems like the positioning of the troops and how much Ukraine had seems to be outdated. But when something is moving this quickly and it's so complicated, you can't really be sure of anything. Um, obviously, it seems like it's out of a movie, you know, 20 or 30 teens and young 20-year-olds sitting around in the Thug Shaker central chat room um, exchanging God knows what kinds of information other than this. I want to say something, though, about who figured this out and the people who are so ahead of the curve or ahead of our government, like the folks at Bellingcat. So they were the first ones to actually come up with this. They were before the Washington Post. They have now been given credit, and now they're a belling cat of uh, folks that are on the bylines with the New York Times reporters. Our government is behind. Some of our legacy media is even behind what people who have better command of the Internet are capable of doing. So that's people who work at these organizations. And Bell and Cat brought us the Panama Papers a few years ago. And then just also random people that are really good at snooping around the internet. Oh, yeah. I mean, and we have to catch well, up. Well, that's actually not new. If you remember in 2004 in that election, uh, when you had Rob Bluey, who was looking at the Dan Rather's forged mm -hmm. documents, <laughs> yeah. trying to nail George W. Bush, which backfired, of course. Yes. Uh, Katie, this uh, guy, the father figure, 21-year-old gamer, who also was a, a reservist, who had a top secret clearance. What do you think happens to him now that he's in custody? I mean, they're going to go after him pretty hard in the prosecution. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need a lot more information about the situation before I'm willing to hang this guy or even say that he's guilty. Um, I talked to a few people today who are in the security arena who have clearances about this kind of situation and they think it's kind of weird. Um, you remember when Benghazi happened and there was a security breach and it was the administration's fault, and they were requesting security for the embassy. It never came. And then all of a sudden, there was a terrorist attack, and a, a, people are killed, including the U.S. ambassador. And they arrested a filmmaker oh, randomly yeah. Yeah. and said it was a YouTube video yeah. problem, and they lied. So I'm not really sure I believe what they're telling us about this situation, given that this information that John Kirby essentially said was, at, was, was authentic by berating the press for reporting on it, mm -hmm. um, all of a sudden, President Biden's strategy in Ukraine, which he's been saying is working, gets revealed as failing because the Ukrainians are going to run out of ammunition in May. They're not winning against Russia, as we've been told that they are. And now all of a sudden they've tracked down an IT guy, <laughs> a reservist in Maryland, to say that he's the one who did it. I mean, I just think that there's going to be a lot more to the story. Mm -hmm. And given the fact that they have lied about this, that the Afghanistan Papers, which is a great book by Craig Whitlock, revealed that for decades they were lying to us about the progress of the war. It's the same pattern. And so while we're talking about the guy who possibly did this, we're not talking about what the information revealed, which is that the government has been telling us one thing and 
reality on the ground is quite different. Okay, so I'm a heaping amount of skepticism on all that, but we'll keep you updated as it progresses. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.